engaging PTO. Coming up to proper RPMs. When opening the door on this unit, you want to hold the left door tight until the road relief is closed, as the flow calm and the flood valve will both come on and open. Flowcom is powering up, going into delivery mode, we'll turn on our 440 power, adjust our dial to 50, road relief is closed, vent is closed, pump is currently cooling down, and if we look at the timer, it's showing how much time is left on the screen until cool down. At this point I'll set up the permacil and get the hose on. Tighten all the way down, back half off the turn, and open the dispense valve, A41. The system is ready to go. Log open all the way. Auxiliary vapor return stays open during normal operation. We have approximately 25 seconds until it's cooled down. We turn our dial to between 60 and 70. We want to verify the pressure of the vessel we're going to fill, which is at about 60 psi. The vessel is ready for fill point. And we're waiting for the unit to switch over to give me the go sign. And it's counting down. We have the blue. And we have the start status, our 440 is on, I'm going to press the start button. Pump is starting, look at our pump pressure gauge, it's coming up to about 150. We'll hit the info button so we can monitor our subcool, which is satisfied. It was actually done in the cool down of the pump. We started out at 15 psi, and the cool down process gained us approximately 15 psi. Now we're all set for delivery. We're going to hit the start button to start the flow. Then I'll come over and tighten down the valve. Liquid is flowing. We can look at our pressure may spike slightly and then it will start coming down. We take a look at our flow rate at 25, almost 20, 30, 30 gallons, 27 gallons a minute. And we are metering out in pounds. Vessel is filling and now you can see our pressure is starting to drop with the cold liquid in it. And with the Permacil there will be a slight clicking sound or and you'll that's the float popping up and the system will automatically shut down. We're waiting for that to happen at this point. Liquid flowing in. Our pressure is approximately 155 psi pump pressure. Vessel pressure came down just slightly during the operation. And there we have the auto shutdown. 
we'll close our valve, crack open our line to alleviate the pressure between the check valve and the main valve. And while that's happening, we'll open up the printer box. Printer is always on, it's powered when the flow calm is. We'll insert our, our paper into the printer by hitting the release button. Load our paper in. We'll hit the exit button. It gives you two options. You can either print or you can clear the screen. I'm going to hit the print button and we're printing off what was just run. Printer is complete. We'll pop it out. There we'll show what we printed. What we're showing on the totalizer. To clear this and have it ready for the next stop, you will hit the clear button twice. We'll let that clear out. And so this powers up automatically at the next stop. You're going to hit delivery once. And that'll tag us back into the operate mode. Now for shutdown, the pump is off at this point already. I'm going to turn off the 12 volt power. And because our pressure is higher than our road relief, I'm going to open the vent up slightly. And I'll leave that cracked open while I put the hose away. Dust cap on, just a couple of threads is all that's needed. Back in the storage tube. For our pressure to come down to our load relief, which is generally set between 15 and 17 psi, which is the regulator that we will leave the dial between 50 and 70 for our next startup. Just waiting for our pressure to come down. In a normal situation, you could open the vent all the way, and it would drop very rapid. We're letting it come down slowly, and you can watch it come down with just head pressure. We're not changing the saturation of the liquid itself. Once we get down to or a little below 20, we can open up the road relief and leave it open in conjunction with it. You want to drop it far enough so you don't get that humming sound. And they both can be open together to drop it the rest of the way. You can still hear it hum. That would be the regulator. You want to drop it low enough so the regulator doesn't line. Now close the main vent. first, allow the RPMs to fall, disengage, disengage the PTO, cruise control off, and we can shut the truck off, complete.